sure the cheers from UConn Nation later on today as students gather once again to send off the men's basketball team. This time to the Final Four, the men's team heading to Phoenix to face Alabama on Saturday night. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Joes joins us now live from the UConn campus and stores, Jen, where students are going to gather to send the team off later today. Yeah, good morning to you. You know, I was up here at the campus yesterday and you can feel the energy. Students have told me that they are confident in their teams and they are excited to watch both of the teams compete in the final four. It's always exciting when they make it into the final four and campus gets a little crazy at times. It's going to definitely build up. UConn's going to win. It's a big deal and I think it means a lot to people on campus. But the campus is getting ready as well because this was the scene in 2014 after both the men and the women won the national championship. Celebrations turned into riots and it happened again last year after another men's victory. Last year there was roughly $123,000 in damage and nearly 30 people were arrested and charged. Six students were expelled. That's why UConn staff are already taking precautions to minimize damage to campus property. We saw them testing out floodlights along the tops of buildings and removing light poles as well. The university says that they will not be serving alcohol to students and that the events happening on campus are only for students. Live here in stores, Jennifer Joes, NBC Connecticut News.